So as we went to get our supplies for canning, we would come up against or come across plain people, uh, Old Order Amish and some other, you know, varieties. Back then it was a predominantly in that area, the Old Order Amish. So we'd see them at the sales and we began to wonder, see more similarities with ourselves and them than with, say, the women at the playground at school or David's co-workers. Like, we had more in common with these people. And then somebody at the sale had mentioned that they were Christians. And I thought they were Messianic Jews. So I was like, oh, you know, they had asked me, I at that point was wearing just kind of a plain sack dress and a headscarf. And someone asked me if I was some type of Amish or Mennonite. And I said, no, I'm a Christian. And they're like, well, Amish are Christians. They are. You know, to me, a Christian was the guy throwing tracks out on the subway, wow. you know, and hollering. It's like, no, that's that. Oh, wow. So, you know. I mean, you just didn't really have no, any context know. for this world. Initially. Yeah. And so he's, yeah. and so I said, like New Testament Christians? Yeah, yeah, they're New Testament Christians. To this day, I don't know. <laughs> was that an angel or what? Mm -hmm. So um, as was our habit, we loved the library. This was back in the day when you didn't have, you know, the Internet. So we're going to go look this up at the library. And we happened on a book by John Hostetler called Amish Society. That book went through the whole Anabaptist movement, the Anabaptist history, and then it takes apart the, the Amish culture, or in general, the conservative Anabaptist culture, and the reasons why they do things and what scripture is behind it. Mm -hmm. Well, we love this, because what I liked about that book is I kept putting it down to read the Bible. We checked that book out over and over again because we couldn't get through it. We kept putting it down. To go, oh, oh, yeah, oh, oh, yeah. And we just had one aha moment after the other. And David would come home from work, and I would share this. And this just ended up being a constant conversation. 